Hello guys, welcome back to Special Creations by Nelly. If you are new here, let's not forget to subscribe. And I hope you guys like it and enjoy. First thing I did was purchase my template from Etsy. If you don't have a way to purchase from Etsy, you can always find it in Pinterest or you can always Google and they have the template in there. I will put the size of each petal um, in the description down below, so check it out. So I use seven petal, I just put all of them together and then after I line them up together, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it in the middle. Then I'm gonna fold it in half. And just the little top at the top of the petals, just like that. From there to there, not all the way. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pencil and I'm just gonna go ahead and fold the top of the petal, just like that. I'm gonna do both sides. Then after I'm there, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my petals and put a little bit of hot glue at the bottom. And I'm gonna just go ahead and put it on top and glue it together like that. I'm gonna do that to all my petals. After I'm done, I'm gonna take all my petals and what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of hot glue at the bottom, just like that. So after that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab another petal and I'm just gonna go ahead and place it on top. But before I place it on top, I'm gonna do it like facing that way, like sideways, just like that, like that. But I'm gonna make sure I put it on top of the other petal so it doesn't leave me no gap in between. So as you can see, it's closed in there. There's no space. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue attaching all my petals one by one until I'm done with the whole thing. Then after I'm done with seven of them, I'm just gonna turn it around and put a little bit of hot glue and just place it on top and glue it. If you're done, it will leave me with like that. You're gonna do all three of them just like that. So it could turn out just like this. So the next step I did was grab a circle and I'm just gonna go ahead and take my petal and put some hot glue at the bottom. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on top of my circle. I like to open them up a little bit because I like them to look a little bit open, not so close. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it like that until I open all of them. After that, I'm gonna continue attaching all the three set that I did like that. Just put your hot glue and attaching. And the last one, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it as well. So then I cut out this for my center. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it to the middle, like that. So the next step I did was the, the llama mouth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw it on a piece of paper. If you can draw, I will have this available at my Etsy shop. I will have the mouth, the ears and eyes. But it's pretty simple to draw as you can see i did it and it taking no time to do we just bring it down and finish the mouth so after that what i'm going to do next is draw a circle all around it just like that i'm gonna take my scissor and cut it out So after I cut it out, 
all complete, I am going to take another piece of paper and trace it out just like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and cut that out and it's going to leave me with a circle just like that. So now I can take out the mouth. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the whole thing out. So then I'm going to trace it into a black piece of paper, cut it out, and it's going to leave me with that. And there you go. And for those that have the Silhouette Cameo, I purchased this template on the Silhouette store. I put it in the machine. What I'm going to do is select the whole thing and I'm going to right click and ungroup it. And then that would leave me with the whole thing separately. So the only thing I'm going to use from here is the eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it out. The eyes and the mouth. Just like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and select the whole thing and delete this because I will not need it. So to make the eyes bigger, what I would do is just drag it and make it big. Just like that. And then I'm going to rotate them just like that. And I'm going to make it bigger to the size of the page that it could fit the whole thing. And then the only thing I will have to do with this is just go ahead and cut it out. Then the next thing I'm going to do is with the mouth, I'm just going to go ahead and get a circle right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the whole circle on the page and I'm just going to make sure that I open through the whole page that it doesn't go through so when I cut it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger so it can fill the whole page. Then I'm going to make the mouth bigger so it can fit in the circle. Just like that. Make it a little bit longer. And there you go. Then you're just going to go ahead and print that out. So the next step I'm going to do is your eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and make like a half a circle just like that and bring it to the top. Just like that. It's pretty simple to do. If I can do it, so can you. But always remember you can always purchase this at my Etsy shop if you don't know how to do it. So then after that, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same process and cut it out. After I cut it out, I'm going to take my black piece of paper, trace it out, and cut it out. Now we're going to start with the ears. We're going to make a straight little line and just bring it to the top. Just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing to the top. Now we're going to make um, the small ears, the one that's going to go inside. So you're going to go ahead and make the line and do the same thing you did outside. Now we're going to take the scissor and cut it out. After you cut it out, you're going to trace it on the color of the ears that you would like to be. And it will leave you with that. So now we're going to take the ears in the inside and cut the small ear out. For the ears, you can leave this white or you could do the same thing if you want to do different colors and trace it into whatever color you would like. And that will leave you with your ears. And there you have, you have your mouth, your ears and eyes. And this is how beautiful it turns out. So let's get started into the next DIY. You will grab one of these foam boards from Dollar Tree. You will just measure four inches into each size. After you do all the sides, you're going to just go ahead and draw a straight line like that to each size that you measure, just like that. Once you make your whole square, you're just going to go ahead and cut it out. After you cut it out, you're just going to go ahead and take that part out, just like that. 
Then you're gonna take the eyes. This is a small version that I did. You could do it the same way. I teach you how to do the other ones. And just place it at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this mouse as well in the middle. Look how cute it's turning out. Then we're gonna go ahead. I made this cactus in my other video. I'm going to put the link down below so you can see how I did it. Then this cute little flower, I made a small version of it and I'm just gonna go ahead and place three of them on top. Now for the ears, I took the left of the cardboard and I'm just gonna go ahead and trace the ear into it. Just like that. I'm going to grab the knife and cut it out just like that this will be more stable and it won't um fall apart so the ear could be standing up so after that i'm just gonna go ahead and take my ears and glue it to the top and place it on top just like that and this is how beautiful it turns out uh, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button share if you know somebody that would love to learn how to do this and thank you again for always watching special creations by Nelly. These little boxes will be available at my exit shop. Thank you for watching.